Who do we believe is going to be taking place in the EU LCS Finals 2018? G2 going for five in a row. Fnatic trying to win their first time since 2015. Or does someone not named G2 or Fnatic finally win an EU LCS title? Only one other time, Alliance. It's hard to believe, but I have to think that out of you know out of the entire EU LCS, I see five teams being able to really compete for this. You have Schalke and Splice are two of kind of the outsider teams that I'm looking at that you know need to prove themselves for different reasons, but they do have the talent necessary to be the champions of Europe. But when you're talking about who I really truly want to predict and believe is going to be there, it has to be Misfits and G2. These are the two teams that I feel are the most complete in Europe right now and are definitely going to be the ones that I find have the most potential to improve upon what they already are. If you're looking at Fnatic, I think that they are a strong team in themselves and I think it really does depend when you're looking at how much have Broxa and Caps improved over the yeah. Worlds performance and then also which Soaz are you going to get? Are you getting Soaz week one of Worlds where he almost has no farm as Maokai, like 5, 10 the minutes, worst player 15, in the tournament. how many minutes into that game? It was awful. And then, you know, week two turns it around and this guy on dog chance is performing outrageous stuff and getting great wins in that top lane. And I think that that will be something for Fnatic to look at. But predicting here, it's going to be that strength of Misfits top and jungle synergy as well as the excellent Hansama. If he gets to play on that Zaya, look out. That guy is dangerous. And then G2, Perks, Yankos, that whole thing, it's all going to work. I think that's your final. G2 Misfits? G2 Misfits. And G2 takes it. Okay. Five in a row. <laughs> Five in a row. Hey, man. It's a dynasty. What else Full do you want? Full new roster. That, I mean, Perks is the best of all time Thanks. if that happens. I mean, yeah. Five in a row would be absolutely incredible. And if Perks does that with four entirely new players, then, yeah, this is, this is the EU team. I see the streak of five coming to an end. 4G2, sad not times. getting five in a row, very sad times, you know, spoiled fans, spoiled G2 <laughs> fans not seeing a, another EU LCS title. Um, I don't even think G2 gets to the finals. Ooh. Now, I got Yankos getting that MVP award, but... Um, Predicting some playoff struggles. I, I think he will get it on track, get back on track in the playoffs, and he'll overcome some of these, these playoff jitters right. that he gets. But it's not going to be in spring. I think come summertime, you'll see, uh, you'll see G2 back where people expect them to be. But I think in spring, they don't get to the finals. I'm looking at Fnatic getting to the finals. This is a team that they were inconsistent to close out 2017 uh, in their first initial playoff run in EU and then obviously the first week of Worlds. But, I mean, you saw the potential ceiling of this team and it's pretty high up. You talked about Broxa and Caps. Uh, if they can compete and get to the level that we saw at times throughout the split, I think if they can stay at that level, then they'll be fantastic. And I think that they're going to win for the first time since 2015. Who are they going to beat? I'll tell you who they're going to beat. Ooh. I have been riding the Schalke hype train. Oh boy. Uh, since the power rankings, I thought this team... The Schalke tank. Could, the Schalke tank could definitely make some noise in the playoffs. I think they meet Fnatic in that finals after knocking out G2. Love how hypothetical all this is. <laughs> Uh, but I think Fnatic, Schalke, and Fnatic takes it in a, in a close series. But I, I'm all aboard the Schalke hype train, and I think he'll, people will see, wow, Nuketuk is actually a top-tier mid when he's got a team around him, surrounding him, he that's can be. actually pretty solid. He hasn't I, had a good team in a very long time. I think that this is definitely a team, though, that can show off his skill and help Absolutely. show that he really is one of these players. But I think when you are talking Fnatic, and I do look at Caps as that player that I want to see improvement from, he was someone that really was outclassed on the world stage at Worlds, and I thought that that was something that was disappointing from someone who expected more out of Fnatic and wanted to see more out of quote-unquote baby faker. You never really saw those moments, but what you have seen from Caps throughout his play in Europe was a lot of those dominating outplays that he can make, and that does lead to those type of nicknames. And I want to see you know, more of an explosive uh, start from him this year. Yeah, and uh, with Caps and really Fnatic as a whole, a lot of these games they were losing, they just seemed to be way too passive. Like that, that Longju game where they had five kills and one in 20 minutes, that was insane. Some of the games in the yeah. EULCS play, playoffs, they were just kind of sitting back letting Misfits or whoever do whatever they wanted, and they just slowly lost the game. There was no proactive plays by them. So you bring in a guy like Hillisang, who he's not going to do that. 
If, if a game starts playing out like that, he's just going to get bored. He's going to try a flash engage on whatever champion he is, which... Sure, at times he might he might go 0 and 5 in to start some of these games. He might have a couple int like games, but I mean I think overall his playstyle is going to help Fnatic a lot more, and you won't see those passive losses that can be so painful to watch. So I think adding a guy like Hillasang is definitely going to help Fnatic uh, come 2018 spring. Right, and even with Hillasang's downsides, I still think he's overall quite an upgrade over Jez's, and especially with how he will work with Reckless. I think that that was a really great move for Fnatic. Yeah, and we'll see how they are in actual laning phase, because Hillasang he hasn't been great in lane the last couple of no. years on UOL, so... Not awful. Not just, awful. Just not great. Solid. Stick him right in that 5-6 <laughs> mid-tier sandwich. He's definitely not your bronze 5 support. Can no. guarantee that. He's your top five support, which is pretty good. <laughs> in the LCS, in your top yeah. five, that is pretty solid. Uh, so you got G2 over Misfits in the finals. Yes, sir. I'm taking Fnatic over Schalke. Two, four different teams. That's surprising. I'm telling you, Europe's going to be real spicy this year. I think it's going to be some really intense action. and really looking forward to it. Yeah, don't be sleeping on EU uh, because of all this NA hype. They got better times for when their games are playing, just Fridays and Saturdays. <laughs> right? None of this Thursday afternoon stuff. Well, afternoon for <laughs> North Americans like us. Silly North Americans. Silly North. No one likes North Americans. <laughs> um, so be watching the EU LCS because there are a lot of interesting storylines and a lot of totally different looking rosters. People, people overlook it far too often. I think that there's quite a lot of fun and exciting personalities to see there and some really strong League of Legends action. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.